Hey everyone, this is AA25, and this is my part one video of how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now this iPod Touch or uh, jailbreak video is for iPod Touch users on how to create a custom iPod Touch custom firmware. My other, if you guys are iPhone users, watch my other part one video which teaches you how to make an iPhone custom firmware video or uh, custom firmware basically. Um, so. For the iPod Touches, Snow Breeze only works with iPod Touch first generations, iPod Touch second generations. It does not work for third generation iPod Touches. Now you know if your iPod, or at least I heard that you know your iPod is a third generation, if the serial number starts with MC. I'll also put this in the description, but iPod Touch third generation devices have a serial number that start with MC. Anyway, let's begin. So first, you need to download Snowbreeze from the uh, description, Snowbreeze Lite 3.1.2, and download the custom firmwares, or I'm sorry, the f the 3.1.2 firmwares for your device. There's an i there's their direct Apple download, so it should be a quick download. They have iPod Touch first generation download and iPod Touch two second generation download. Also, if your uh, iPod touch is not updated to 3.1.2 you will also need to do that now we can actually begin with the jailbreaking process so when you download snow breeze and open it it will say software is not for commercial use blah 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 skip it then it will say welcome to snow breeze light please get all your files ready and click next to continue so next is the blue arrow in the bottom right just click on that then I'll ask you which mode to use, simple mode or expert mode. We'll use expert mode in this tutorial because it allows you to customize a lot of things with your custom firmware. Now I'll click the blue arrow to continue. Now I we'll want you to select the firmware you downloaded. So I will select my iPod firmware for my iPod Touch first generation that I have. Open it. Then it will say processing. This should be quick. It's usually 5-10 seconds, you know. Then after it does that, it will say your device is this, and then it will say on the bottom IPSW verified. Click next to continue, like right here. iPod Touch 1G, which is mine. IPSV, IPSW verified. Click on the blue arrow. Now you have a bunch of customization options. We're going to go to general, click on general, and then click next. Now it has these options. Make IPSW NOR only at Snowbreeze iPhone app root partition size. IPSW NOR only is only if you already jailbroken your iPod and you want to change the boot logos that you can customize which I'll show you how to do that later on and when we get to that part in the video. You don't need that now since you guys are probably first time jailbreakers. Uh, at Snowbreeze iPhone app is useless so uncheck that. Root partition size, keep that the way it is because what a root partition is is the um, iPod Touch and iPhones, their disk drives are divided in two parts, a big, like two partitions. The bigger partition is where all your iTunes media goes to, and then the root partition size, you will find that a lot of jailbroken apps are in that, and so are, um, and like all your firmware files are in that too. Me, myself, um, I keep the root partition size normally, because like for example Cydia, which you guys will install in the jailbreak. You, um, all its stuff gets installed in the bigger partition. Um, a lot of, um, you know, th in jailbreaking, a lot of things move from the root partition to the bigger partition to s save you space. Where because some like modifications require you to install to the root partition. So I usually just leave that it is as is. You guys can customize it however you want to. So just click the blue arrow after that. Next is installers. Please select any additional installers you wish to install. Um, City is already checked. Rock is such a bad app. Don't install it. And then just click on the blue arrow for the next thing. Custom apps. You guys don't need that yet. Click next. Custom boot logos. Now, custom boot logos. You could change how your how the boot up logo looks like and the recovery logo looks like. Um, it already comes with two. I usually don't like custom boot logos, so I uncheck the option on top of the picture to use them. If you don't like these pictures, want to use your own, you can either create one, which requires that it's a PNG picture file with uh, dimensions below, uh, or not below, dimensions of 320 by 480, 
it must be limited to 100 kilobytes per boot logo, so that's the max size, and you need a transparent pixel, pixel at least once in the boot logo. All of this, I don't, I'm not a Photoshop type of person, so if I ever use a boot logo, I just go Google iPod Touch boot logos, iPhone boot logos, you get a bunch. Anyway, I don't like boot logos and custom boot logos and stuff in general, so I click next, I skip this part, uncheck use the logos check then you're done you go back to the main menu and you configure your custom firmware click build IPSW and click the blue arrow now it's gonna say iPod touch ones G press click start when you're ready to make your IPSW then you're gonna click start here then you're gonna see this uh, scrolly thing come up and then it will tell you the process of the uh, custom firmware on the bottom and there's also a download bar and yep, yeah, that's how to make your custom firmware for uh, jailbreaking. Um, make sure to watch the second part of the video on how to get that installed. Any questions or comments up to this point, please make a comment, PM me, whatever. Okay, watch part two.